going on ladies and gentlemen boys and girls welcome back to the channel this is a word from mr jones tell him say what's up man and you playing on the phone yeah <laughs> the video is all about solid state drives when it comes to installing windows 10 operating system so how i pretty much got into the situation is that i purchased this hp laptop off of ebay uh, because I'm accustomed to the laptops we use at work. I figured that this would be the best laptop for my kids to use while they're attending class from home. I went out and bought some uh, solid state drives off of Amazon, which had such of a good deal that I just had to buy them. And what I discovered is that these drives, they require an additional programming in order for you to install Windows 10 operating system. In today's video, guys, we're going to learn the process of programming Solid State Drive so that way you can install Windows 10. Our drive is now installed. I don't have the screws tightened down yet, um, but I'll get to it once we are able to install the operating system. So now we're just going to install our cover and we're going to see if we can get the Windows uh, 10 operating system to uh, work our uh, Windows 10 USB drive is in limp mode. All right, let's see what happens. Install. Since this is a new installation, we're going to do custom. Now, I've been having issues at this screen, so typically when you hit next, it's supposed to do the format itself and install the operating system partition on it. So, let's see what happens. Let's see if it, yep, see it does that again. We could not create a new partition located on the existing one. For more information, see the set of blog files. So the reason why we're not able to just select next and install Windows 10 on this partition, this hard drive, is because it's a solid state drive. And we need to do some additional uh, formatting within uh, Windows setup. Um, we're going to basically utilize the command prompt to basically do the format from there. So on our keyboard, we're going to press and hold the shift button. And while holding the shift button, we're going to press F10. So now by doing so, it's going to open up the Windows command prompt. And from the command prompt, what we want to do is type disk part all together. D-I-S-K-P-A-R-T. Disk part. Press enter. So now we're in a disk part mode. So now what we want to do is list the disk. L-I-S-T space D-I-S-K, enter. All right, so as we can see here, our disk is disk zero for our solid state drive. So what we're gonna do is select that disk, S-E-L-E-C-T, and D-I-S-K space zero. All right, so now as you can see, disk zero is now the selected drive. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and clean that disk. So that this has been cleaned. All right, so now what we wanna do is create a partition. So we're gonna go ahead and create, create partition. Part. Do, 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 do. Partition, primary. And we're gonna do size equals 5,000. Oops, sorry about that. All right, and we're gonna press enter. All right, so we have successfully created the partition. So now what we wanna do is do a format. So I'm gonna go ahead and format this bad boy. Format. Okay, equals N T F S. So we can do, this is basically going to be the normal format, or we can do a quick format. You know, I'm going to just go ahead and play it safe and do the normal format. Dealing with the fact that this is a solid state drive, and we want to make sure that we do not stress the solid state drive out. So we're going to let it go through its process. Alright, so that format has been successfully completed. 
All right, guys, so from here, now we're gonna go ahead and type a sign. Okay. All right, guys, so we have successfully assigned the drive letter or mount point. We're gonna go ahead and select active because this drive is in an active state. All right, so it's been marked as our current partition. Let's go find out exactly what the uh, Let's go look at our drive. Uh, so we're gonna list the volume. Okay. All right, so looking at our volumes, hmm, our partition, it looks like C, okay. And E is, letter E is our DVD ROM, and then letter D would be our actual um, USB drive that has the Windows 10 uh, ISO on there. So what we're gonna do now, since we know that D is our actual USB drive with Windows 10, we're gonna basically utilize that um, next. So we're gonna go ahead and exit. Okay, well now we're leaving this part. Now we're gonna change the disk or change the drive path, in other words, okay? Now we can pretty much do the X copy, okay? So as you can see, we left the disk part uh, and then we uh, typed in the command to change directory, uh, which the dot directory is uh, the D drive, which is volume three which is our USB that has Windows 10 ISO on. Um, so what we're gonna do is type X copy D, okay. Now we're gonna do a space, all right? So now we're gonna do C, there's a slash E, slash H slash K, okay? And from here, we're gonna type enter. So now what this is doing is that it's copying all of the files uh, to the, from, oops, give me a moment, let's try that again. Uh, I can see. All right, so my issue in this case is my USB drive stopped reading. Uh, and that's why it's failing to copy. All right. Type the same. Again, our X copy. And then from there, you want to press E. Well, press Enter. Uh, it's going to attempt to copy it. The last time it was acting up and it failed. Um, again, because my USB drive, um, it's got some physical things going on uh, let's just say my uh, USB drive for Windows 10 mistakenly left in my clothes pocket which that was uh, placed in the washing machine got bumped all around then I threw it in the dryer got bumped all around um, and then that's when I recovered it I'm out of the dryer just to discover oh crap <laughs> but um it's still running um, this process kind of takes 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 a couple of minutes, so we'll come back. It's done copying. We're gonna go ahead and exit out. Okay. So now, as you can see, we don't have anything listed when it comes to our new partition that we created. So before you do anything, exit out. Okay. Hit yes, you want to quit and exit out again and hit yes you want to restart so now we're going to restart the so that way we can boot up to windows 10 setup and from here we're going to go through the process of setting up windows 10. we previously had some issues um and now we're we're working so I'm gonna click install 
So we're gonna select custom. So this five gigs, we don't wanna touch, but this 233, we do want to uh, utilize that for our Windows operating system. So we're gonna highlight that and select next. What? It's still not working. All right, so now we're gonna let it do its thing. And it's loading the window setup off the actual hard drive. Next, um, let's just do custom, keep it going. And there we go. So just to kind of explain something to you guys, after we restarted the computer, well, my laptop, what I did is I went and yanked, pulled the USB drives out and the computer booted straight to the solid state hard drive, which the solid state hard drive has the Windows 10 setup. And after that, it just pretty much used the Windows 10 setup that's on the solid state drive and then we are good to go. So that's pretty much what happened. All right, guys, as you can see, Windows is installed. It is going through its new OS uh, installation process. Um, you know, after you install the actual operating system, it's got it through the setting up the new user profile, and then we'll be at the desktop. So, yeah, um, if you guys follow the steps that I stated before, um, you basically are going to be copying uh the files from your either the c your cd or you know your usb drive where you have um windows 10 installed and that's basically going to uh allow uh the computer to boot off of uh the windows setup which is on the actual solid state drive and just like that guys we were able to install Windows 10 on this laptop by basically copying the files. Well, first, first and foremost, uh, basically our process was to format the solid state drive. Okay. And then we copied the Windows 10 setup files from the USB drive to our hard drive okay or in your case it may be cd you know your windows 10 cd to your hard drive okay and basically when you do the restart basically windows is gonna boot off of the hard drive which the hard drive now has the windows 10 setup and that's what basically allowed us to get here all right so we are absolutely looking good um we're gonna go ahead and connect this laptop up to um, the internet and basically run all of the Windows 10's, uh, you know, updates that's required. And then we're just going to give this laptop back to my son and just be like, here you go, son. Got your own laptop now, man. Now I could get my, my Dell back. <laughs> Honestly, that Dell computer I use uh, pretty much, um, you know, when I'm outside working on my car. Um, if there's like some sort of check engine, like I'll do a full system diagnostics off of the software that's on my, on that Dell laptop. So that's when it comes useful. Um, but other than that, hopefully guys, this video has been helpful. Indeed, indeed, we were able to purchase a laptop, a laptop, a nice business laptop, you know, from eBay. Okay. In perfect condition keyboard mouse pad uh case you know it's got a little little, little ding 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 dinged up stuff here but um everything else works everything else works it just needed a hard drive it just needed a hard drive oh yes it, it needs a uh, battery which that's coming um and it needed a power cable which i already had a spare power cable but other than that man we only spent around i want to say probably what was a 150 or 160 just for a perfect perfect computer like this is perfect man my son he can use this for school and just not have to worry about a thing and just like that guys we were able to address our issue with windows 10 not installing on the hard drive now guys 
now that we have the operating system installed, man, we can just kick back, relax, and, you know, enjoy, you know, the installation of Windows 10. I would say definitely when you install a Windows 10 on the Solid State hard drive, it's much quicker than waiting for paint to dry off the wall. Trust and believe me. You guys can put your stopwatch on and you can time it, but trust me and believe me, you're going to find out that installing Windows 10 on a Solid State hard drive is far quicker than trying to watch paint dry. So guys, if you found this video to be helpful to address your issue with installing Windows 10 on your Solid City hard drive, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button right there. Again, please hit the like and subscribe button right there. And also guys, if you happen to have any questions uh, or you know you're trying to go through the steps and you might be a little bit confused of which commands to enter or when to enter the commands in situations such as that please do me a favor drop a comment of the issue that you're experiencing and i'll help you out talk to you later guys peace